Peggy Seven. Bonjour, je suis Jean-Michel Villain. I'm Jean-Michel Villain, creative director and CEO of Abercam Studio. And today I'm pleased to introduce to you the game Roguebook. It's a roguelike deck builder. When you start the game, you choose two heroes from a selection of four. So you have a hero combination, a starter card deck, and as you progress through the game world encountering and fighting enemies, you craft more and more cards as in-deck building games to gradually improve your deck. It's a roguelike, so you can lose one hero. But if you lose two, you have to start the game from the beginning. All content is procedurally generated, so you can't make the same choice twice because the content changes from one run to the next. There's also an aspect to the game that we call the overworld. It's a map you walk around in and explore the world, which has been spawned by the rogue book. In this layer, you can find bonus artifacts and treasure and also encounter enemies, win battles, fight bosses, etc. Find gems and customize your deck based on the enemies you defeat. Once you've finished the game the first time on the basic difficulty level, you'll see that there are things that you can unlock to help you advance to the next difficulty level. The difficulty increases, but the player also has more options, which means more combinations are possible, and it never gets boring. All the game's action takes place in the roguebook, which is actually the lore book of our first game, Feria. So it's a type of compendium that includes all the legends and stories of the universe of Feria, which is a huge world. If adventurers open the book, they are sucked inside and become trapped. As for the game's heroes, we chose four of the most popular heroes from Feria, which were characters that we put the most effort into when developing Feria. There's Shara, who is quite a badass adventurer. Soroko, who is an ogre triton. Cypher, the rat demon. And Aurora, the turtle. I'd say our approach was to revisit Feria with a Miyazaki's approach to make something with more animism, where everything ultimately has a soul, which creates a universe full of spirits that are somewhat enigmatic. We also wanted to take Roguebook to another level. For this, we collaborated with a legend in the card game world. He is co-designer on the project, and he has a game mechanic he wants to explain to you. So I'll hand you over to him. Hi, I'm Richard Garfield. I'm best known as the designer of Magic the Gathering, which is the world's first trading card game. And, uh, since then, I've designed a lot of other games and studied a lot of games and uh, co-authored a book called The Characteristics of Games. My involvement with Rogue Book began with being a fan of Feria. Feria is a digital card game and it really used a board in a, a unique way that uh, I found very appealing. In fact, I had to quit the game because I was spending too much time on it and there's not too many games I can say that about. When the Abercam team decided they were interested in doing a deck builder, we talked. Uh, I really love deck builders and, uh, and, and so we decided that there was a, a good opportunity there for a partnership and that's how I became a co-designer for Roguebook. One of my favorite innovations with Roguebook is the fat deck system. Uh, the fat deck system began when I shared with the team my interest in a deck builder which at the high end was not so involved with getting rid of cards from your deck. Uh, most deck builders, uh, this is an important part of the strategy. It's uh, you add add some cards, but then you spend a lot of time getting rid of cards. And getting rid of cards is not as much fun as adding them. Getting rid of cards often gets rid of uh, cards which are interesting but don't really fit with your deck, and uh, also makes the deck more consistent. I wanted to see a game where it was uh, possible to pursue a strategy which was much more about getting a big deck which was a little less predictable but uh, uh, a lot of fun. We went about that by making it so that you get rewarded by getting certain thresholds of cards in your deck. Uh, this is done through having a skill tree for each of your characters and when you get up to a certain number of cards you get to choose a skill for your character. That way you get a really custom experience with your deck in several different ways. Well, I think it'll uh, bring an entirely new type of deck building possibility to players. 
uh, they can pursue building a large deck rather than just a lean, mean fighting machine, which is uh, so important in most deck builders. Uh, personally, I like to build decks that uh, are a little less predictable, where you have to think a little bit more on your feet, and that's what the big deck is all about. Uh, so so this will give uh, more options for people in uh, how they uh, engage with the game. Well, I hope you all enjoy playing Rogue Book as much as we've enjoyed putting it together.